to head to the tour that he thought he had qualified for back in 2019. I mean, last year's tour in 2021 was so exciting that it happened, but it was very different than what Matthew would have been expecting to surf in. And now he gets that opportunity to compete on the Dream Tour. Yeah, a full tour year set for Matty McGilvray. Italo Ferreira up against Miguel Pupo and Italo straight into the lip for that opening maneuver comes in with a heavy section and there's no way he's appearing out of that white water and we'll take a look at it here yeah it looks like he's just got the turbo boosters on today shannon italo is charging he's going to go for it today can you just see the mood he's in wow that's just go for it surfing morgan sibley behind him and of course they've been sparring partners and morgan having that amazing year last year and of course morgan now having to do the tough yards Miguel Pupo driving off that backhand attack straight up into the lip. Out onto the open face as that wave goes a bit soft. He's now going to patiently wait for it to stand up again on the inside. And it just doesn't link up the way you would have been hoping for. Miguel being smooth and stylish as we take a look at that opening top to bottom turn combination. Yeah, Miguel's got one of the, uh, the silky smooth style lovely surfing and I, I really think he has lifted his game a lot he's got a lot more dynamic in his in, in his vertical attack in the, I think this time round as he's qualified I saw him in an event at Sakurima where I said wow here he comes Miguel Pupo with the turbocharger on not to be in a small to medium wave a sort of medium wave for it it seems like he's in this mood where he's just going to surf yeah and the opposite in style it's that aggression that attack mentality from ferrera that comes through need to get the ride back out as we take another look at this yeah it's a medium-sized wave and uh, he looks like he's going to get busy in this heat and he sets it up here this is pure italo ferrera at his best and you know i think i feel at this tournament so far yeah, I love that insight, Bugs, just knowing that Italo really could pull anything out at any moment, that that expressive uh, side of things that he brings to the table. But then that silky, powerful attack from Miguel Pupo goes heavy into the lip for that first turn. Now linking it up through this inside section again, this wave is tapering off without anything really that critical for him. Really soupy through the inside. He's doing well to keep that speed and flow, that rail-to-rail -rail surfing. Very interesting how they reward this, but this first turn here is just mighty. And from that angle, we see he gets pitched with the lip completely and just handles it so well. And then uh, the wave really tapers off very quickly, Shannon. Yeah, it just tapers off so much. It's crazy looking at that, though, knowing that he really did get pitched out with the lip. And then being a goofy footer, he's blind going through that into that second section really can't even kind of get that angle to see what's coming next as we take a look at just how heavy this drop was yeah it's, it's such a well-timed maneuver and, and he just comes over with the lip and just ahead of it fortunately so everything about this technically was perfect no absolutely you're right there because if they can get a wave where they get multiple maneuvers they're both in in just scintillating form and here we see Italo. Italo power attack and that first snap goes in for the second whips it around so quickly lining it together for the power connects four turns he's feeling it with the claim on the inside and that was aggressive surfing. I love it he goes straight into a deep bottom turn and out of the lip signature moves massive rooster tail flying he sets it up here this last turn amazing how he just beats the convergence and uh he's happy with that one he knows he's got a, a very good score coming his way i really feel like this is the italo that we've been waiting for the entire year 2022 he's had some good results he had a semi-final finish in portugal a quarter-final finish at bells but early losses in hawaii which is uncharacteristic of Italo. He dropped through an 8.33 into the excellent range here, Bugs. Oh, this wave is unbelievable. It just serves us so well. It's not even a big wave. It's like, as Maddie said, it's a medium wave that's hitting it properly. The bigger ones are sometimes hard to manhandle, but he is on fire. This is such a good ride. And Italo is hitting his straps. His timing is just 
just superb today. And there's massive turns. And one after the other is in such good rhythm with the wave. Just three big turns, but they accrued him an 8.33. Now he has his opponent in the combo situation. That's a comfort zone for Italo. In the best position that he has ever been in, heading into the back half of the year. With a late takeoff from Italo, driving back into the pocket. Now setting himself up on a difficult looking section and he'll kick out before that finish. But I love his his nod to El Salvador as well, being a great right-hand point that'll be introduced new to the championship tour. He's got a few waves that will really work to his favor. As we see Italo with the airdrop off the lip for the first section up into a tight section on the second and get stuck on the rail for the 